Throughout my short tenure on this website, one of the recurring topics that I occasionally bring up in my videos is the subject of quote unquote talent show artists. People who gain notoriety and recording contracts not through years of busting their asses and scraping by in order to make it into the music industry, but those who choose to audition in shows such as The X Factor, Britain's Got Talent, The Voice etc. And if they're lucky enough to do well, they may end up getting a record deal when all is said and done. And via this route, acts such as One Direction, Oli Merz, Leona Lewis, Little Mix and JLA have all achieved varying degrees of success, and some of these acts didn't even win their respective series, showing that sometimes those who win don't necessarily end up reaping the rewards. One of these people in particular is 2012 X Factor winner James Arthur, whose hype ended up resulting in two top 10 singles, a top 5 album, and for three years he did his very best to torch a promising career via social media spat and drink and drug related binges, falling out big time with his original label and being subsequently dumped by head on show Simon Cowell. Now in 2016, he's back, with a new album set to be released in November and the lead single called Say You Won't Let Go, already at the top of the iTunes charts and debuting at number 25 in the singles charts, it seems like Arthur is turning a corner and could be on course in revitalising his career with what is essentially a gorgeous love song. The first one basically sets up the scenario of the two protagonists meeting in what seems to be a nightclub, dancing the night away, drinking, before Arthur ends up romantically holding back her hair while she's thrown up in the bog. How Shakespearean. The following pre-chorus leads to Arthur realising that he's in complete and abject love with this woman and obliges to stay the night with her, leading into the chorus where he announces his desire to never let her go and wants to stay with her until the two of them are old and grey. Verse 2 jumps forward at some time in the future where the two are still together, married, and Arthur recants things like making his woman breakfast in bed and dropping their kids off at school. The preceding pre-chorus and chorus sees Arthur reflecting on the years that they've spent together, blesses his fortune to have found this person and further expresses his desire to remain with her for the remainder of his life. The final bridge and chorus emphasises Arthur's desire to stay with his woman long after they've both gone from this planet, promising to stick to his vows and thanks her for staying by his side and bringing him all the happiness that he never imagined he would have. And all of this complemented by a really beautiful instrumentation that goes hand in hand with the lyrics nicely. The continuous circular acoustic guitar riff touched off sweetly with the piano chords, the presence of the kick drum along with soft hints of keyboard synth in the first third of the track and the introduction of synth strings in the final part of the track all culminate in a highly enjoyable song that's made all the more stronger with Arthur's vocals, which portray a real sense of sincerity that lends itself superbly to the music. Whilst I freely admit that at times the lyrics can be kind of corny and the whole concept of meeting someone who you don't know for the very first time and ultimately deciding right there and then that this is the person you want to spend the rest of your life with is something that invokes this involuntary reaction of me reaching for the puke bucket. There's this undeniable earnestness and genuineness that I can't help but buy into this track. I like how the song flows in a chronological fashion and doesn't feel trite. There's a progression that isn't seen in a lot of songs nowadays and it's refreshing to see such. Coupled with a beautiful instrumentation and Arthur's sincere delivery that's tinged with the correct amount of emotion, what we have here is a charming and heart-wrenching track that deserves a bigger push in my opinion. Kudos to you James, this is a good return to form. Now don't fuck up.